Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of the Pawnee. I did reload and everything's fine now. We can, can totally build more dudes. Um, we do want to keep some available to replenish the ones that are actually in this, these armies. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna do that. That's fine. Oh shoot! Yeah, we're gonna retreat because uh, we're about to lose. Yikes! We actually did lose a battle. But we've got all these replacement armies, so let's pull them over to here. Here, actually, I think that's where we retreated to. My army did retreat, yes. Please tell me it did. We didn't just magically lose that whole thing, right? Where is it? Where'd they go? There's the one that's shattered, shattered retreating. Okay, let's see if we can uh, get him to stop that, please. Hey, how dare you destroy my colony? Don't tell me that was like one of my big colonies, too. I think I just started it. I don't remember. Okay, we'll worry about the colony thing in a moment. My mission at this point is to... Uh, oh, wow, you're retreating further than I wanted you to. Long-term investment, always. Alright, so we've got 12 regiments here. It's actually 27, so it needs time to replenish. 1,000 will reach it this month. Let me go back to our own lands. And then we're going to make a new unit. We're going to take the ones that are, like, really weak. So we have six, seven that are acceptably strong. And now that we're in our own territory, 2,400 can reach this month. We need 13,000, though. It's only 5,000 manpower pool. Another colony's become self-sustaining. This one's about to become self-sustaining as well. Let's get this one started. That was that one now being self-sustaining. So let's advance you forward. I guess what we really do is we just, you know, it's, it's almost up to full strength. We wait one more month and then we go. That's close enough, right? We're out of manpower. Let's just go. Seems fine. Alright, so we only have three colonies right now, which is not acceptable. Let's recall... Recall. Send and... This province cannot be reached. It's inland. Oh, okay. Let's take this one, I guess, because it's got the estuary. Oh, look at that. My, my little Navajo has ten, ten regiments and it's attached to this one that's guarding the colony. Do you stop? Don't, don't... Oh, just go that way. I guess if you want to come help, we'll let you. And we'll keep the whole army together. Chasing, trying to chase this whole army down is... What, what do you... Would you stop it? Stop attaching to this. Now he's attached himself to this one. Come on. This way, Navajo. They don't really want to be my friend, do they? It's complicated. <laughs> Somehow I ended up with six colonies. <laughs> I can't count. <laughs> Alright, so these ones are really tiny. Recall. 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 Split. Send down there. One regiment's pretty, uh, pretty dicey to try to support a colony. But, uh, it'll be fine. Okay, so send the largest three. One, two... And three. I suppose having six colonies is is acceptable though, because you're likely to um, to get more events that like add population, which is pretty cool. Okay, 
And I think we actually can pick up level 6 military tech now, which is a huge tactics bonus. Significant, very significant tech bonus. And we're losing some money, but we have tons, so maybe we even just... Do we just stick with 6 colonies, or maybe go up to level 3 advisors across the board? I don't want you to give core to the Aztec. Why would I care about that at all? That's just silly. I guess these two have been warring each other a bit. These are all colonies. There's a lot of colonies there. Alright, this time we will try to actually kill the remaining force here. Now that we have that tech bonus, I don't think we'll have too much of an issue. Yep. I feel like I'm the, I'm the Christians coming across the ocean now. Another 100 pop and less fear or ferocity. I like it. Magdalena. Alright, now we just... Yeah, we're just going to carpet siege. Is that his too? Wow, we have to actually get some permission to cross the Aztecs. Hey, can I have access, please, so that I can go beat up your enemy? Thank you. Wonderful. Painting the map our own special color. Call for peace already? Jeez. Let me play on speed 5. It goes pretty quick. All of our colonists are working. Good. We're bleeding money at a slow rate. That's fine. Let's uh, get trade power. Pretty much always. So I haven't been able to get over there far enough to discover this node, but... taken another province. I have a feeling that we're starting to build up some pretty good trade power in this node. In Mexico. Yeah, we're at 20% now. All we're doing is uh, is transferring power upstream, though, because we... Look at that. Provincial trade power. Kanawa. It's worth 14. Kanawa. Kanawa? Kana. This one's pretty powerful. Oh, we just got the benign neglect. That's why. Well, whatever. It's still good. Manpower recovery speed. That's actually really beneficial. And our war exhaustion is climbing rather rapidly at this point. Do need to end this war quickly. Come on, guys. Finish the occupation. There we go. Now, what do we want from you, actually? You have no money. Full annexation is not possible, even though they are like a, a native... Uh, we also can't make you into a vassal. Annexation is apparently, it's like half cost, since they're, since they're tiny. Um, yeah, they've got 87 bucks, that's it. Force religion, it's not possible. Could have them transfer trade power. Why don't we do that? Why don't we uh, transfer trade power and then just take a couple tiny things? Diplo point cost is kind of annoying. Might as well rival you. That saves us some points. 
All right, so we're going to give you heavy trade and transfer trade power. Sure, we'll take some of your money just so you can't do anything annoying. And then we'll take um, enough of the lands that we're below 100% war exhaustion. So it looks like that, 92. So it's kind of kind of mishmashed, but whatever. It's fine. Call for peace should go away soon. These are going to be expensive to core. Um, what I could do though is I could, I could actually just wait five years. So suffer five years of overextension. And this overextension is going to cost us what? What's the effect of being overextended? I can't recall. Overextension's effect on revolt risk. 4.6. So that's what, half of our overextension counts towards revolt risk. So that gives us some revolt risk in base provinces. Mostly because we're at negative stability. We can probably afford to go back up to... Should have done this before, piecing out. Oh well. Doesn't matter. So we have a little bit of revolt risk in the provinces we conquered. We'll want to keep standing armies there. Uh, we could convert them. Actually, we have no missionary strength, apparently. Can we convert any of them? None. Wow. So I'm thinking, like, what makes sense here to me is to... Okay, colony just happened... What would make sense to me is to wait five years and then attack them again. And by doing that, we could then create them as a vassal. I probably didn't need to take... Naturally, as soon as I boosted my stability, we lose our guy. And he was a pretty good guy. Damn. We kind of have to do this. I know. No mission. Reduce overextension. Spread our culture to Guantanamo. Spread our culture to Cree. Let's just take reduce overextension. Whatever. Gain one stability. Awesome. Either way, we lose... Uh, we also get a Master of Mint. I think we already have a Master of Mint, didn't we? Yeah. That's good. Look, all of, the, all of the available advisors are level 3 now. I wonder if that's tied... Well, not all of them, but most of them. We can now convert provinces, apparently. Not that we're going to. National decisions available. Encourage divination. Yes, please. Less revolt risk. Right, so, okay. Let me just finish my thoughts here. We're going to wait five years, then we're going to attack them again. And then we're going to create them as a vassal, and then we're going to integrate them. Speaking of integration, can we actually integrate you? Yes, we can. Because, um... I don't want to core all that. I don't want to spend like 800 or 700 or whatever it is admin points to core seven or eight provinces. You gotta pay full price, which is just obnoxious. 120? Bah. No way. These are the only provinces that actually have revolt risk, so we should be fine. The Aztec are sieging the Zapotec now. It's amazing how quickly you can colonize when you have three. I mean, it's it's very quick, and it does seem like the some of the they're finally starting to get bigger. Hey, it's Spain! Spain and France have found us! Yay! <laughs> let's go! Let's go become neighbors. 
Uh, we might want to train up some more troops. Uh, how are we doing on manpower? Yeah, we're going to make as many infantry as possible. We're going to have a huge army. Because we know that they're going to be problematic. So we just lost our guy. I guess we go with the... Uh, how are we doing on money? I mean, we're losing 7 gold a month right now. This guy would be another 14. We could probably afford that. Let's just do it. Worst case scenario, we just go back down to four provinces, four colonies. We just lost a battle against rebels. Hmm. And our truce timer will be over in the year 88. So three more years and we can do it. Uh, we'll lose Diplo Power again. Tropical, arid. A couple estuaries over here. And this one's really good. Important center of trade, river estuaries. We need to go like boom, boom, boom. Boom. All, we want all these estuaries in Mexico. Definitely. Masters of Mint never seem to live very long. I guess we take the level 1 just because I really want inflation reduction. 14%. It's pretty high. Okay, things are coming along pretty well. We are losing uh, 9 gold a month. Uh, well, we just lost level 3 and went back down to level 1, so we're actually pretty balanced again. And we're annexing the Navajo, and uh, soon we're going to attack you again. And in the meantime, we could be attacking the Aztec. They're small enough, we could probably just make them into a vassal directly. Seems like a fairly reasonable thing to do, I think. That would also give us access to this area, so we can get our Conquistador over there and discover that actual node somewhere in here. So, okay, I'm going to take a break. I will see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.